Greetings citizens of the world. James Comey's FBI was in bed with the Clinton criminal machine from the beginning. The FBI released another batch of documents concerning their investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails last year. The documents reveal how Clinton's legal team circumnavigated the FBI and got away with it. The released documents make it clear that the FBI did not aggressively go after Hillary Clinton and her team. Instead, they offered various immunity deals and allowed Clinton to obstruct justice. The documents were released thanks to a FISA request launched by the government watch dog, Judicial Watch. However, Judicial Watch founder, Tom Fitton, thinks this is just the beginning. The new records show how badly the Obama Justice Department and FBI mishandled the Clinton email investigation. They get the equivalent of wiped phones from the Clinton lawyers and do nothing? Fitton asked. The released documents shed new light on last year's investigation and suggest that Obama's Justice Department was providing cover for Clinton. During the Benghazi investigation into Hillary Clinton, Members of Congress learned that the former Secretary of State was violating State Department protocol by using a personal email server for official purposes. The private email server was used by Clinton for official State Department business and hosted thousands of emails containing classified information. After the probe into Clinton's email server was launched, she tasked her aides with deleting over 30,000 emails deemed personal. These emails have not been recovered. However, the new documents reveal that the FBI spent little effort attempting to uncover any of the information destroyed or deleted by Clinton. Clinton aides destroyed 13 electronic devices with hammers. Only three devices were turned over, an iPad and two Blackberries. However, these devices had their SIM cards and SD cards removed and destroyed. This action could be considered the destruction of government property and obstruction of justice. However, the FBI accepted the inert devices without question. Additionally, the FBI offered immunity to Cheryl Mills, Clinton's chief of staff, and even allowed Mills in the room while Hillary Clinton was being interrogated. In total, five members of Clinton's staff were offered immunity for nothing in return. All evidence suggests that the FBI softballed the investigation into Hillary Clinton because there was never any intention to press charges.